Hi planners, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And in this video, I'm reviewing the Day Designer Planner. I have seen this planner over the years and wanted to try it. So when they reached out to me, I was very excited to review this planner and tell you what I think about it. Let's not waste any time and get right into this video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you can be up to date on planner videos all year long. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. In addition to posting planner reviews, I also share plan with me videos and you don't want to miss out. I also share inspiration to plan on my Instagram where you can follow me there for weekly reminders to plan. So each week I get on Instagram and say, don't forget to plan for the week. I know you're scrolling, but I want you to go ahead and plan. And so if you find yourself doing more scrolling than planning, that might be for you. So go ahead and subscribe here on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. I did not get paid for this review, so all opinions of this planner are my own. I was sent this planner from Day Designer, and if you choose to use my affiliate link in the description below, I may earn a small commission, which is very appreciated but never expected. So if you decide to use that link, I may earn a commission and that helps me. When I first opened my box, I first noticed that it was a beautiful box. It also held up very well in shipping. So the box was just really beautiful on the outside with that really pretty like aqua color. And then on the inside with the beautiful gold metallic. So that was the first thing I noticed when opening the box. And then it has this wonderful hard keepsake like box here so this box could be used for storage i personally would not throw it away i'll probably use it for some kind of storage on my shelf and even maybe to put this planner in when i'm done using it and so when you open it up they have it nice and protected in some plastic here this planner is a five size they do also offer a like nine by 9.75 i believe so if you want a larger planner they do also offer a larger planner but i felt like this size would be perfect this cover design is camellia it is very beautiful floral design and when you open it up on the inside you have some stickers here in this front pocket and you get two sheets of that same sticker sheet and then you have your gold coil here and when we open it up we do have a removable bookmark i love a good bookmark in a planner so we have that nice bookmark slash ruler i would say and i really do appreciate that it has this entry into the planner it kind of tells you how the planner started um why they believe this planner is um, a planner with a purpose. And so it also has some entry pages to kind of help you see and assess where you are in life. So here on the left side, it starts with a self-assessment and it helps you to break down careers, social, family, chores, TV and distractions, spiritual, physical, volunteering, education, residence, entertainment, vacations, marriage, and hobbies. So it helps you to kind of assess where you are, is this very important to you right now? Somewhat important, neutral, not that important, or not at all important. So I really like how it breaks down those different areas. And then here on the right side, we have um, kind of like a Venn diagram, I guess. It's three different areas that overlap, and it's asking you your top five values, um, passions, and strengths. Continuing, you also have a goal section and it breaks it down by the number of months. So we have three months, six months, nine months, and then 12 months or a year. And then on this side, you have goal description, monthly actions, weekly routine, daily habit, and progress and what that looks like. So I like that the progress looks like section here. I think that's good to kind of have an idea of like, well, how do I assess myself? What does progress look like for me? And for each person, that may be different. So I like that. Here we have the ideal month um, section. So it helps you to be able to have an idea of month to month, what would you like to do to stay on track? And then here an ideal week, which I really like because it helps you to kind of have an idea of like, what is it that I normally would like to be doing each week? So when you get to your weekly planning, you can kind of flip back to this page. So personally, I would bookmark this page because I think this is a good week to or page exercise to come back to. 
And then we have our calendar for 2024 and 2025. We have holidays here and important dates. And then here again, more important dates that you can list. So this is the first page of the month and how it looks. So for example, this is July start, but if you were to go to um, August start, you do not have that same list page. It is the last day of the, or last week of the month on that page. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about that, to be honest with you, but I haven't used the planner yet. So I can't say that it would particularly bug me. I just love a good dashboard and this doesn't have like a nice quote or anything here. So that part would probably bug me a little bit, but I do like the hard start into the next month. So like this kind of lets me know like, girl, the month is over, get started on next month. So maybe that's the kick in the butt I need to get into the next month is that it's the actual <laughs> divider page. I just think that the difference, I don't know. I just, I'm used to a dashboard or like, quote page here so um let's do a quick flip through so you start with july here i love how this is laid out i like the monthly view we then have our weekly view here and what i love about this is you have the top three priority section here at the top then you have each day of the week going from monday to sunday the weekends are a little short let me know in the comments if you like a short weekend if you or if you need the same layout for your weekend dates as your week dates. I just I'm just curious to know what my viewers think. And then here in the notes section at the top. Now personally, I like a good notes at the bottom, but I think it is nice that they have that space and it's such a small layout that it's very functional for the size. Like I just think for this to be such a small layout, it's A5 size. There's a lot happening here and I think it's in a good productive way. Flipping over into the next week, again, same layout. And there's a new quote every week as well, which I really like. This quote says, the unexamined life is not worth living, Socrates. Um, so let me know in the comments if you like a good quote. The secret of success is constancy to purpose. So nice little inspirational quotes each week, and then you're back into your next month. This is a 12-month planner. It goes from July to June. And this is just a tip for those of you out there who would like to start a planner. Right now, you are in the academic calendar year. So right now it is May. You are most likely going to find a planner with a July start, okay? If you want a planner that starts right now, you are likely going to have to get an undated planner, a custom planner where you can choose your start month, or likely you will need to get a planner from 2024. That is January through December. And then you'll be ready for a new planner come January 2025. So just laying out your options right now. If you are not feeling your current planner setup and you're looking for a new planner, that is where we are. Or if you just haven't started planning with a paper planner yet this year and you're ready to get started, I recommend either getting an undated planner or getting a dated planner with a um, July start. OK, with that being said, we then move into the end of the year. And so there's a section here that says today in to do. And in this section, you have a actual daily layout. OK, so how many pages we get? One, two, three, four. So I would say this is about 30 or so pages of daily layout. So let's say you're just having a really busy day on this date and you need extra space. You can go ahead and flip over to today and to do layout and, and use this section. Okay. I really like that they have this option. So you can kind of try that daily layout. Day designer does also have a daily planner, right? So if you are not into this weekly view, but you like the idea of having a daily planner that's laid out this way, you can definitely check out their daily planner, which I will link in the description below. Then moving into the notes section, you have a nice amount of notes pages, not quite as many notes pages as daily pages here, as you can see, um, but you do have a nice notes section. And then you have a stay on track section, which has a budgeting area. So this is for expenses for you to track. Honestly, if you didn't want to use it for expenses and wanted to use it for some kind of other register, you could change those with stickers, I'm sure. And then it gets into different areas. So after your expenses section here, you also have gift ideas to remember, entertainment checklist, and a 
bucket list for 24 25 so i think this is fitting so much into like such a small planner if you're looking for something super functional and compact i think this is a nice planner i also think this planner would make a really great gift so if you haven't already gotten a gift for someone who you think would love this planner I definitely recommend it. Let me know in the comments if you use a day designer planner or if you like this planner or have seen it and want to try it. I really like the layout, which is why I chose this layout. I had the choice between daily and weekly, and I really wanted to see what the weekly layout was like because it just feels so productive. But let me know in the comments if you are more into the daily layout or the weekly layout. I'd love to know what my followers think. Again, it's lovely. If you want a thinner paper and something easy to write on, this paper is more smooth and has less tooth than, let's say, an Erin Condren planner or a Daily Grind planner. So if you love those planners, but they're a little too thick for you and you want something with a more thin um, paper, this would be great. If you are using something, some super inky paper and you want a really thick paper, this paper might be a little too thin for you. So just being full fully transparent here this is a great all year round planner to be able to take along the way with you um i do think the planner will hold up very well the cover is really thick so i don't see any issues with this cover happening i think it's a great quality but the paper is just thinner and therefore probably a lot easier to write on i know a lot of people complain about thicker paper being hard to write on it just is this is way easier you can use a ballpoint pen a gel pen whatever you want i would use a thinner pen so you don't get so much shadowing but i'll definitely do some kind of plan with me video here um on my channel so that you can see what that's like planning on this kind of paper so definitely like this planner a whole lot the quality is definitely there let me know in the comments if you use a day designer or if you're interested in trying it out thank you so much for tuning into my video and i will see you all in the next one